Hello. If you're watching this right now, you've probably heard of Parker Dean from being recommended by a friend, a family or relative, or even meeting the man himself, which if you have, that's very lucky if you've ever gone to do that. Now, you're probably wondering why I should, you should, in fact, consider Parker Dean as an improv specialist or even as a mentor or a coach. And I'm here to tell you from my own personal experiences why you should definitely consider and not only consider, but take it very seriously with him as a mentorship. Now, who am I and how do I know Parker Dean? So in summary, I'm a 23 year old. I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome and I'm currently in the UK. So I'm in very, very difficult circumstances as it is. And Parker Dean, I met him from several colleagues recommending me to him and several good friends. And before I was just like yourself, very, very skeptical on why I should do improv. I was recommended improv several times by people that I knew that, oh, you should do improv, that improv sounds good. And I was like all for it, like, yeah, it sounds good in theory. I struggled a lot when I was growing up, especially with being liked because of my Asperger's of having a very difficult understanding of other people. There was many times I felt that I did not understood people and I was also playing into myself a lot. And a lot of people was very frustrated with even speaking to me or listening to me. My relationships were a, a down low in most cases. So I was struggling with being able to be liked and also being able to make people feel appreciated and actually want to be with me and actually want to be with me for my time and not just laughing at me. So Parker Dean was able to solve a lot of those issues and even more issues for me. So when we did our sessions, he was able to break it in a systematic order for me. Now, I don't know your circumstances, but you have a different tailored approach that would work for you. For me, when you break it down into a systematic process where I understand why things are happening and I'm able to replicate the results as well as understand things by having epiphanies, I was therefore able to progress. And Parker was able to systematically break down, for example, how to make a joke. Something simple that we all take for granted and he was also able to break down how to tell a story, for example, how to engage people in different ways, how to make people feel appreciated and heard. Because in our today's society, being appreciated and heard is very rare. There's very few people that are generally appreciated. And even at the top, there are people that are worshipped by the masses but are rarely very understood as actual individuals and people. So being able to do that, no matter their social and economic circumstances, is a very valid skill to have. And from Parker doing that, I was not only able to gain more confidence, I was able to start public speaking, I was able to better understand my target audience in some cases because I did a lot of other things so for an example being a singer and a rock star I was able to improve my existing relationships so for example my mum my mum and I have had a very strained relationship but for me being able to put myself into her shoes and to better understand what she likes and what she wants and listening to her I was better able to look after my mum and to make her appreciate and heard and generally I made a lot more friendships and I was able to understand, for example, better understand the opposite sex because I struggled on that. So for example, if you're trying to understand a sex you're attracted to, whether you're male or female or another identity, if you're trying to attract a particular kind of person, they, they are generally misunderstood in most cases and are generally looking to be feel appreciated and understood. It's not good on its own just to be in physically good shape. I'm already in physically good shape, but I struggled for a long time just thinking that I was good enough being in good shape. Now, a lot of people out there will be in good shape and some won't, but generally everyone isn't the same, but they want to feel appreciated. 
And from that, I was also able to improve my dating life. I was able to be a lot more liked and attracted by the opposite sex that I wanted to be attracted by. So what that did for me was improve my confidence. It improved every single aspect of my life. It benefited. Whether it was me training in fighting, whether it's me tra training for particular things, whether it's climbing a mountain, it all improved from that. And so you're probably wondering from all that, how would this apply to me? So I don't know you as an individual. You might be just like me, so systematic. You need a process, you need a step-by-step -step plan from A to Z. You might be a person that, that, for example, loves to talk, loves to socialize and does these things naturally and might want to take it to the nth level. I don't know your circumstances. All I know is I started below average at a very, very low level. I know that Parker took, took me beyond average in terms of charm, wit and lots of other skills that allowed me to be able to be a lot more approachable a lot more friendly and a lot more happy as a person. So I know and I can guarantee for anyone else watching this video that if you apply just a small fraction of Parker's lessons, you will take your level from even beyond what I did. What I did, I was one of Parker's first students and one of his few students to start off with. Just imagine from all of the months, which was three months in my case, of training that Parker learned and now has adapted his program. So there's legitimately nothing to lose in this case. We live in a day and age where being understood and heard is very rare and very difficult, whether you're male, female, or another identification. So here's what you would learn if you decided to take this life-changing mentorship, life-changing program, or even life-changing sessions with Parker. You will learn how to understand if someone's yes and agreeing with you. So agreeing and engaging with you. There's a very clear difference with agreeing with someone and then being combative with someone. You, you'll learn the kind of phrases people will say when they're agreeing with you or disagreeing with you and how to set it straight so they can agree with you. You learn how to be pacific. What's more pacific, 965.1 or nine? The first, if you heard a story using that, would you be able to tell which is more intriguing, more funny? That's something you will be also be able to say you can do. How to be able to be listening and also listen to. Listening is not just what people are saying, but what you will be able to hear. Their body language. Are they using their hands? How are they looking at you? Their tonality. Are they smiling? Are they being sarcastic? Are they being flirtatious? What are they doing? That's another thing you'll be able to learn with Parker. And this is just a very few of the things you will be able to learn with Parker. I haven't even gone into all the things ranging from frame control, from witty banter, to storytelling, to joking. There's so many different things you can learn from Parker Dean. And this is life-changing information. This is the best information I've had out there. And if you're looking for any improv coach out there, pick Parker Dean. Do yourself a favor, do your friends and family and future relationships a favor and pick Parker Dean. If you've watched this entire video, I want to thank you and I want to wish you all the best in your learning with Parker Dean from Improv. And if you have any other questions, contact Parker Dean and he will put you into contact with me so I can be able to give you an honest answer and be able to answer any of your questions because I understand how it was. I didn't have a person at the start to go to from Parker. Parker showed me from some of his very small clientele, but I understand now he has a lot more clients. So 
I will be one of many that you can go to and ask the questions. So I want to thank you for watching this video and I want to wish you the best and I look forward to hearing all your results that are probably going to be even better than mine. So thank you and have a very, very nice day.